Hey guys, this is Rishi Chulani from The Dark Knot, and today I would like to discuss something that honestly very few formal web blogs touch upon. I've created uh, a videos on matching tie colors to your suits and shirts and matching tie patterns to your suits and shirts, but what a lot of blogs do not pay attention to is tonality. Now, tonality is contrast within a specific piece of item, all right? So, uh, a specific contrast within within an item itself, not between two items. So a low tonality shirt will have little contrast between colors on the shirt itself, whereas high tonality will have high contrast. So an example of a high tonality shirt is this pink and white striped shirt. It's a nice shirt, but there's high tonality. Now, a lower tonality shirt will be something like this micro check uh, pinkish lilac shirt where there's not much contrast between uh, the lines that are crossing each other to form these checks. Now what really helps when you're matching your ties to your suits and shirts is to start off with a low tonal shirt and work your way up to a high tonal tie. So if you notice I've said, you know, even with your patterns, you want smaller patterns, work your way up to patterns that are larger in space. It's generally about starting with a muted background. Think of your shirt as a canvas when you're dressing up, all right? This is a light pink shirt uh, without a pattern with a blue boulder, you know, and again, this is our uh, Rockport navy blue tie with the dark knot against a blue, uh, you know, boulder pattern tie, and that's why it works really well. Now, I'll give you an example of a higher tonal shirt with a high tonal tie. That's not necessarily going to work well, even though they're both good pieces of clothing. So here we have the higher tonal pink and white striped shirt against this wider spaced uh, abstract tie, hand over abstract tie. Now. The spacing on the tie works fairly well with the spacing of the shirt, but this is a high tonal shirt, this is a high tonal tie, so it's harder to get that visual contrast where it pops right off. Now conversely, if you take the same tie and you go against a low tonal shirt, so there's not much contrast in the shirt, from afar it almost looks like it's one color, maybe a second color thrown in there, but it's not that visually striking, right? It's a nice shirt, but there's not much tonality to it, which on, you know, on a standalone basis, a high tonal shirt works great because it draws attention to it or if, you know, you're wearing it with a blazer or something, but generally the lesser layers you have, the better the higher tonal shirt's going to look. But the second you add in a layer, like a blazer or a tie, you want something that's lower tonal that's going to go really well with a higher tonal tie. So here you have a lower tonal shirt, you don't see too much contrast between the lines that are crisscrossing each other to form these checkered patterns and you go with a higher tonal tie. Now look how much better that pops off versus a previous example because this tie is visually striking, the shirt is elegant, but because the tie is high tonal and there's strong contrast between the blue and pink on this tie, it's gonna pop off really well against this low tonal shirt. Another example of tonality is here is a striped tie or Canterbury uh, navy tie with this uh, narrow striped shirt. Again here you have a lower tonal striped shirt. You can see there's not too much contrast between the blue and the white on this shirt because the blue is fairly subdued, but you have strong contrast on the tie. Right? This is a beautiful university striped silk tie. You have navy stripes and red stripes and they perfectly complement each other. There's strong tonality there. So you have a stronger tonal tie against a narrow striped shirt that's low tonality and it works absolutely perfectly. Um, you know, as a last example here, you have a higher tonal shirt. Now again, this is a beautiful combination, I went over this earlier, but it's not going to look as elegant as a low tonal shirt with a high tonal tie, simply because the tonality on the shirt is stronger, it's just a louder shirt, and so it's harder to work your way up towards a more tonal tie, whereas if you go with the examples I gave you earlier, a low tonal shirt always goes well with a higher tonal tie. So I hope that video helped and that's another consideration that you can uh, put into play when matching your ties to your suits and shirts. Again, please feel free to subscribe below this video to get future video updates from The Dark Knot where I'm hoping to continue to bring you guys great content. You can go on our website and sign up for the newsletter or the sign up box where you will get a five part, uh, five series, uh, five email series to dressing well covering what types of shirts you should wear, essential suits, what types of uh, ties you should wear, in addition to future uh, product discounted offerings. We have a whole range of ties, 120 
uh, and pocket squares and lapel flowers on the site. Each of them come with recommendations for matching attire and a lot of useful educational information, which is what I'm basing this video series off. Uh, in our men's style blog, where I've been blogging for three years about men's formal wear and style, covering a whole range of topics in addition to our specific necktie guide. So, again, I hope you found this video useful. I'm Rishi Chulani with The Dark Knot. Thank you for having taken the time to watch this, and I look forward to speaking to you in our next video. Thank you very much.